Hey, hey, Team HQ Sports. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. I know, the most wonderful time of the year, right? Well, actually, it's a little bittersweet. On one hand, it's the biggest game of the entire season, right? But that also means that it's the last. And after today, we'll have to wait six months till we see any on-field action. I'm Lauren Gambino, and don't worry, we will get through this together because we have an amazing game ahead of us today. The Rams and the Patriots. You know what? That takes me back to 2002. Oh yes, it was Super Bowl 36 and Tom Brady took over as quarterback in only his second NFL season, taking the Patriots to the Super Bowl. But he was up against this guy, Kurt Warner, and the greatest show on turf, which was becoming a dynasty of their own. Oh yeah, the game was tied 17-17 in the fourth quarter as Brady got the ball back and did what we know Brady to do now. With a minute 21 and no timeouts, he got the ball down the field and Vinatieri's field goal was perfect as time ran out. Brady and Belichick won their first of five Super Bowls. And today, the Rams may have a new-ish city, but that old grudge is still there. Today, Tom Brady is arguably the greatest Brady of all time. He always seems to have plenty of time in the pocket. Look at that. An arsenal of receivers, Gronk, a steady rotation of running backs. Oh, yeah. And speaking of running backs, who would have thought that the tag team of C.J. Anderson and Todd Gurley would become such a dynamic piece of this young team's offense. Oh yeah, there he is, of course, against my Cowboys. We have to show that clip, really? Well, Sean McVay is now the youngest coach to coach in a Super Bowl. He's got to have a few tricks up his sleeve of his own, and I can't wait to see it. So we asked you on Twitter, at HQ Sports, who you got today? Yes, who do you think is winning Super Bowl 53? Is it the Rams or is it the Patriots? And right before we aired this game, 58% of you said the Rams. Wow, okay, I'm leaning towards the Patriots. I don't know. Stay with us on Twitter today because I'll be live tweeting during the game from HQ Sports. I'll be asking some pretty fun prop bet style questions and I'll be giving away extra lives. So you definitely want to get on Twitter during the Super Bowl. And hey, HQ is having a little halftime show of our own. Join us back here at halftime during the Super Bowl for your chance to win Burgers for Life. Brought to you by Wendy's. It's bacon trivia night. Amazing. I love bacon. Also, $25,000 and Burgers for Life. Oh my gosh, this is going to be such a good game. Also, HQ Words. It's football food night. Oh yeah, right after HQ Trivia. So it looks like I'm going to be eating good during this game. Yes, first HQ Trivia, then Words right after halftime. So make sure you join us there. Okay, team, here's what we got right now. I'm asking Super Bowl trivia questions today, right? Get it? 12 rounds. Get them all right, and you win. Tonight we are playing for $5,000. That's actually the exact amount you need to buy a last-minute ticket into the game right now. But save your money and order a pizza. Watch it on TV instead. Hey, don't forget that you're still going to earn points for every question you answer correctly, helping you to level up to earn free passes and to contribute to our season finale jackpot. Let's see where that jackpot's at right now. Drum roll, please, $49,120, and it's only going up from there. So keep getting all of those points and leveling up. And hey, are you new to HQ Sports? Well, hello there, and thank you for playing. Tap on your screen right now to get notifications so you know when we play next. It's every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m., but if you want someone else to tell you, like your phone, just tap right now, yeah. Now, it's time for the biggest kickoff of the year. $5,000 is on the line, and so is the title of HQ Sports Super Bowl Trivia MVP. To the over 300,000 players joining us today, let's see what you got. Round one starts right now. Since 1987, the Super Bowl MVP has often followed the game by saying, I'm going to what? Disney World, your neighbor's house, brunch. Nice and easy for round one, team. Well, before Super Bowl XXI, each starting quarterback, it was Phil Simms and John Elway, were offered $75,000 if, after they won, they would look into the camera and say this. I'm going to go to Disney World. Yes. I'm going to Disney World. Woo! I'm going to Disney World. I'm going to Disney World. Yes. I'm going to Disney World. 
Oh yeah, as you see, Phil Simms won and started that tradition. <laughs> Disney World is the answer here at round number one. 221,000 of you got that one right as we make our way to round number two. What NFL championship team's players got a Grammy nomination for the song Super Bowl Shuffle? Seattle Seahawks, Chicago Bears, Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh, this is a good one. We're not here to start no trouble. We're just here to ask about the Super Bowl Shuffle. Take a look for yourself. We're not here to start no trouble. We're just here to do the Super Bowl Shuffle. The Bears earned a Grammy nod for best R&B performance. They lost to Prince, but then they beat the Patriots, so I'd say it was a win. Chicago Bears is your answer here. 176,635 of you knew that one. And listen, no one here could do it like me. My Super Bowl shuffle will set you free. Or at least to round number three. Here it is. Who is the only player to kick a Super Bowl winning field goal as time fully expired? Greg Zerline, Justin Tucker, or Adam Vinatieri? See, I always leave little nuggets in the intro for you. I hope you're paying attention. Only three Super Bowls have been decided by a kick with less than 10 seconds to go. And two of those were won by Adam Vinatieri. The one with zero seconds left went like this. 48-yard field goal attempt, snap, ball down, kick up, kick is on the way, and it is good! It's good! And a military makes a 48-yard field goal, and the Patriots a Super Bowl champion! The end of Super Bowl 36, Adam Vinatieri is the one. Yes, he's the answer here at round number three, and he's still doing it. 168,824 of you knew that one as we kick our way to round number four. Here it is. What player once returned an interception for a 100-yard touchdown in a Super Bowl? Ray Lewis, James Harrison, or Deion Sanders? Man, what a play this was. Oh yeah, one of the most underrated Super Bowls ever is the classic between Arizona and Pittsburgh. Throws the pass. It's going to be picked off. James Harrison has it. He's running up the sideline. James Harrison to run it back, and Harrison is past midfield. By 40, still on his feet at the 45 and down. No, he's still on his feet. Here comes Harrison jumping over people to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. Not even Larry Fitz at the end there. If Harrison didn't take a pick the length of the field to end the first half, it could have ended very differently. James Harrison is the answer at round number four. 100,962 of you got that one right. Wow! Knocking out over 90,000 of you here at round number four. We still got a ways to go. It's round number five. Which of these NFL teams has not appeared in three straight Super Bowls? Pittsburgh Steelers, Buffalo Bills, or the Miami Dolphins? Ah, uh -huh. it would be too easy if we had the Patriots listed here, because we know they're about to become the third team to appear in three straight Super Bowls. The others to do it were the Bills, who appeared, but then lost four straight. Ooh, tough to be a Bills fan. The Dolphins, who got there from 71 through 73. The Steelers have had eight appearances, but never more than two in a row. Pittsburgh Steelers is your answer here at round number five. 42,140 got that one right. Wow, knocking out a whole bunch of you here at round number five. We're only hitting our halfway point right now. It's round number six. The only Super Bowl MVP from a losing team played what position? Quarterback, linebacker, or cornerback? Yes, I know, you don't hear this often, right? It really doesn't happen. You always hear of the winning quarterback. In fact, 29 quarterbacks have taken home the MVP, way more than all other positions combined. But the one time a player from the losing team got the trophy, it was my Dallas Cowboy linebacker, Chuck Howley, who had two picks in Super Bowl V. 
They ended up losing to the Colts, but a linebacker was Super Bowl MVP. Yes, from a losing team. Crazy, right? 54,598 of you knew that one. Knocking out another 50,000 here at round number six. We got half of the game left. Can you hang on for the prize? It's round number seven. Which NFL team had the largest margin of victory in a single Super Bowl? New England, New England Patriots, San Francisco 49ers, or the Dallas Cowboys? It was January 1990. Super Bowl 24 saw an all-time quarterback matchup, Joe Montana versus John Elway. It was a good matchup for about five minutes until Montana's 49ers thrashed Elway's Broncos 55 to 10 in the Super Bowl's biggest blowout. San Francisco 49ers is your answer here. 38,745 of you knew that one as we make our way to round number eight. Which of these has not occurred in a Super Bowl? Shutout, overtime, blocked punt for a touchdown. Which has not occurred? Well, there was never a Super Bowl overtime until the Patriots stormed back from a 28-3 deficit to beat Atlanta. Three blocked punts have turned into touchdowns, but no team has ever been shut out. The Dolphins came the closest with three points in 1972. Yes, shutout is the answer here. 26,814 of you not getting shut out here as we move our way to round number nine. Which of these factors determines the Super Bowl home team? Super Bowl number, better team record, or coin flip? Are you gonna root, root, root for the home team today? Do you even know who the home team is? Let me help you out. The site of the Super Bowl is chosen way in advance, so the home and away thing just determines which jerseys they wear. In odd-numbered Super Bowls, the NFC is home. In even-numbered games, the AFC is home, making the Rams the home team today. Super Bowl number is what they look for. 13,922 of you getting this one right, knocking out over another 10,000 here at round number nine as we make our way in to the final quarter. Can you hang in there for the win, round 10. What Super Bowl matchup has happened the greatest number of times? Dallas and Pittsburgh, Miami and Washington, or New England and New York? As we know, the Patriots and Rams is a rematch of Super Bowl 36. I said it enough today, right? And rematches aren't uncommon. Seven matchups have occurred more than once. The only three-time Super Bowl is the Cowboys and the Steelers, with Pittsburgh taking two of three. There's my man Emmett. Oh yeah, Dallas and Pittsburgh is the answer here at round number 10. 8,638 of you knew that one. We got two questions left. $5,000 on the line. Round 11. Which of these plays has happened on consecutive Super Bowl possessions? Safety, kickoff, return, touchdown, or punt return, touchdown? You just need two more consecutive answers here for the win. A safety happened on two straight Super Bowl scrimmage plays, but not in the same Super Bowl. One ended Super Bowl 47 and one opened Super Bowl 48. But the Ravens and Giants had back-to-back -back kick return touchdowns in 2001, making history with that one. Kickoff return touchdown, 7,095 of you knew that one. And you know what that means. We only got one round left. Oh yes, it all comes down to this. The game is tied up. You've got three seconds left on the clock. Can you make the field goal count when it matters most? Like Adam Vinatieri, or are you Greg the Leg? Let's see, round 12. Who is the only quarterback with at least three Super Bowl wins to never throw a Super Bowl interception? Troy Aikman, Terry Bradshaw, or Joe Montana? All comes down to this team. Did you know that Bradshaw had four rings and managed to get one of them while throwing three picks in a game? Troy Aikman had three games and only one interception. Joe Montana threw 11 touchdowns, no interceptions in his four wins. Joe Montana for the win here. 4,012 of you knew that one and you're our newest HQ Sports MVPs. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh.
Oh, yes. 4,012 winners. You are your own Super Super Bowl Sunday winners. Oh, yeah. Taking home $1.25. That's right. You made it through 12 rounds of the toughest questions. Super Bowl Sunday is yours. You're victorious, my friends. Hella WC125 is coming your way. Looks like you may have just graduated, too. Congrats. Devin Ree 124 is coming your way. Gara Louie 125 is coming your way as well. Brandon, I see you there, Hampton Pirates. All right, $1.25 is coming your way as well. Amazing, amazing work. And just in time, what an amazing game. You know your Super Bowl history. Congrats again to each and every one of our winners. Way to set the pace for the rest of the day. I'll be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern time for more HP Sports. Get your fix with me every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And hey, make sure you follow us on Twitter too. Have those notifications enabled today for HQ Sports because I'll be on there live tweeting prop bets and giving away extra lives. Now, I'm going to Disney World. I'm Lauren Gambino. Remember to hydrate, focus, and do the Super Bowl shuffle.